Hey everybody, I'm Tony. You might know me from such things as... Didn't that guy unbox that thing? Isn't that the guy that's always breaking his RC cars? Yeah, that's me, and today we're gonna unbox something again. Here's a box. Here's that box opened. This is a test report. I passed. Yay! Full color instructions? We've got those too. Look. Here is a drone. Here is a lot of other things. Down here is a controller. Alright guys, all kidding aside, there's a lot of cool stuff in this box. This is the King Kong 210 GT. Uh, ready to fly version as it comes with this Fly Sky i6 FSI 6 controller. Takes four batteries. Should be paired to fly with this thing out of the box. So we'll uh, we'll give that a test run in a second. What else we got in here? Let's look. We've got a 3S battery. 1300 milliamp hour. And a bind plug. What else? We've got a B3 comm charger. It uses your balance lead charging. What else? And a US plug, that's nice. So um, we'll leave this stuff in here for now and we'll just start adding to it. We've got a little uh, voltage reader here. Let's see what the battery came with on it. This is gonna be loud. Sorry, wife who's sleeping. 11.6, 3.82, 3.83, that's all. So. All right, so this is nice. It comes with a little uh, plug here for working on your ESCs. So USB. Lots and lots of props. There are 20 props in here that gives you five sets of props to break when you're learning to use this thing, which is really awesome. You also have uh, double-sided tape and some Velcro and some zip ties. But what everybody really wants to see is the King Kong. It's going to be easier probably to push it through at this point. Oh, this is tucked in here. we got to get this out before we power it up, don't we? So it's got a right hand polarized mushroom antenna here. Nice. We're just going to go ahead and put this on so we don't mess up later on and accidentally add power without the antenna. All right, guys, let's give you just a quick rundown of this quadcopter here. Um, it's an H frame is what they call this particular version of it. There are several different versions of this quadcopter, the King Kong 210. One is an X frame where these would come in more diagonally, the front um, arms. This one they call, like I said, the H frame. It's running three millimeter uh, thick carbon fiber as the main part of the chassis uh, and the frame. And then the top plate is going to be a 1.5 millimeter carbon fiber plate. Uh, really beefy, really strong. Uh, it's going to be super durable. On the motors here, they've put these little guards for when you crash to kind of protect them as they're sitting here on the top. Uh, the motors themselves are 2205, 2300 kV King Kong motors, so there's going to be plenty of power in these uh, for somebody new getting into this. Um, this would be probably a really great beginner quad as it comes with everything at a really great price point, and you're going to get speed to work with. Um, self-leveling, plenty of power for your VTX. Um, so anyway, price point, ready to fly out of the box. This is a really good deal um, because it's got some pretty nice components on it. It's running BL Heli Optos. These are uh, 20 amp ESCs that are on here. Um, we've got the polarized right-hand turn antenna and uh, we've got the F3 flight controller in here. Now that's one of the things that are different among the different versions of this. There's a CC3D version and then there's a NAS32 board. And so this is all packed in here nice and tight. We've got our receiver up here tucked in at the top for the FlySky controller and lights and a whole bunch of other things that are wired in here as well, our PDBs and um, here we've got our USB plug right on the side to connect it up to the computer and to tune this uh, bad boy. And so looking right down the gun of this thing at the camera, we've got the uh, 700 TVL CCD camera, 2.8 f-stop. Uh, so good low light and it's IR blocked. 
Um, along with the cameras are VTX, which is back here in the back. You can see there's a little digital display. This is a 600 milliwatt uh, VTX, and it's uh, 32 channels. So you program that using the little button that's in here. You quick press it to go through your channels, and you long press it to switch your bands. Um, and once you switch to the band mode, you quick press that, and then long press back out of it. So in the back here, we've got an LED bar, and uh, so that's a quick kind of look at everything here. They've run the antennas down the side. The camera is adjustable. As you can see, it's got tilt capabilities, but you can also on the bottom here, there's different stages of where you can put it to be able to get different amounts of tilt, as well as on the top here, you can, you can top mount it to get even more uh, angle to your camera. So... Uh, overall, I mean, the build of this looks really good. Can't wait to get it in the air and fly it. But uh, let's show it. We'll power it up. So here's our Fly Sky controller. We'll go ahead and power this on first. Oh, warning place all sticks in the down position and all of these in the up position. So now it's happy with me. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and plug in our battery. And so we'll be able to show you the LED lights. Again, make sure you have your antenna on before you plug in. You'll notice we do not have the props on for this test. You hear it power up. You'll see as well that we're on channel 4 here. Alright, so we'll show you real quick. Just kind of quick pressing on this. We'll get it to change. And go 5, 6. And then if I long press it, like so, we're on B, C, D, A, B. So that's our band that we're dealing with. If I long press it again, if I long press it again, I'll switch back to the channels. And so we're on B6 is our channel right now. Uh, looking on the back, you'll see the red LEDs. If you get the green version, you'll have green LEDs is what I'm told and what I've seen. But that'll look really slick flying uh, with somebody behind you. The controller's not happy with me at the moment, so we'll actually arm it real quick for you. So this button right here, or this switch on the top, is our arm switch. And this top switch up here will be the different modes that you can have from the self-leveling uh, to the self-leveling, but you can still do acro and then like the full rate mode where uh, most people end up flying this thing. So uh, again, down, we can then have some power. Now, when you go full down on these, these motors cut all the way off. So um, some people don't like that. Some people like them to just be on. Um kind of like an air mode just to give you a little bit of softness in your uh, drop but um, these ones do turn all the way off when you throttle all the way down all right so here's a quick look at it with the props on these are five inch props these are not tri-blades which a lot of people are flying these days uh, but we're going to fly it stock first for you like this with the included props and we'll just see how it handles um, but then we'll also fly it with tri-blade props and see if there's a difference in what we like better but um, it does come with five sets of these, so that's nice for when you're first starting out and getting uh, the hang of it. These should be perfectly fine, and uh, I've flown lots of props that are um, just the two blade like these. So we'll get this tested out for you, and we'll let you know what we think.